Most of us look forward to the holidays to eat good food, unwrap presents, or simply spend time with family. But as NBC 10's Chelsea Jones explains, not everyone is as fortunate. It was just another drive home until it wasn't. There was a voice in my head say, uh, turn around. Jesse Davis was trying to get home quickly, so he cut through a gas station and met the perfect stranger. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. The Ryan, he's, he's different. Uh, he's not like, he's not your normal, I guess you'd say, homeless person. Mr. Ryan has been homeless for a while. Jesse says he felt a connection to this stranger, so he treated him to a hot meal. And that's when he learned Mr. Ryan's story. I was walking, and the next thing you know, uh, I mean, it was, it was this boy said, he said, he said, you know, it's time, my son. And Ryan believes he was called by God to be a vessel for change. And while Jesse thought he was feeding the stomach of a stranger, it was his soul that God fed. And I feel like people, they fail to realize, like, the bigger meaning of it. Like, it's, it's okay to have a Christmas gift, but you cannot forget about other people. Jesse shared Mr. Ryan's story on Facebook, inviting people to make a difference in this man's life. They raised over $100, but Mr. Ryan wants to donate it to children in need. It gives me joy. You know what I mean? It gives me joy to, to know that, like a love, like I know that's genuine love, you know what I mean? Although Mr. Ryan's circumstances are unknown, what we know is that there are people like him just around the corner who have a story to tell. We might be wiser to stop for a moment and listen. Every person has a story. Um, it just takes that one person to open up that book and read it. Reporting in West Monroe, I'm Chelsea Jones.